the Midnight Basketball program is back. This is actually a program that your Toronto Raptor, Jelano Banton, took part in when he was growing up. I grew up in Toronto. I went to Midnight Madness growing up. I was a part of this, you know, just coming out, being able to get out of the neighborhood that you're from. All these kids, we all came from community housing if you come here. So, you know, I feel like being able to get out of your neighborhood, come play basketball, get away from things that you might not want to be around. So it's great. It gives these kids opportunity to look at life in a different way. The Midnight Basketball League is a free program that was founded by Toronto Community Housing Corporation back in 2013. It's now funded by MLSE Foundation's Change the Game campaign, which is committed to creating more equitable opportunities for youth through sport. This program provides boys age 14 to 18 a positive space to develop their skills both on and off the court. It allows us to eliminate barriers where kids that don't get access to facilities are looking at gang violence and gun violence as a different option. This diverts their attention and brings them to a safe place where they can enjoy and learn and grow as future leaders. There's nothing more we could be excited about having come back to the community. Banton's teammate Gary Trent Jr. was also in attendance for the launch and was even rebounding some of the kids' shots with Banton. Yeah. Because of the ongoing pandemic and the team temporarily being located in Florida last year, this is one of the first community events Gary Trent Jr. has been able to be a part of this season. You know, growing up, uh, you know, where I grew up, you know, they had different communities and different basketball events like that. You know, it's actually cool to be a part of something that, you know, my teammate actually has been a part of growing up. You know, Delano said, you know, growing up around here. And he, he's been to these events, he's been a part of this growing up, you know, to see the development from it, from a kid to now, you know, to still see it going on is a great thing. For Banton, seeing kids in the program brings back a lot of memories from his time in the league. A lot of hooping, you know, I made a lot of friends, I built a lot of relationships so that go on for years, come down the line, get to show love. So, like, just every time I got to come here, the, the bus rides here, picking you up from your neighborhood, you have a long drive downtown, you get to make jokes with your friends the whole night. For the Raptors, this is just one of many initiatives they're hoping to help support to break down any unnecessary barriers. It was always a, a, a real pointed goal for us to make this happen, especially during the season. A big part of it was we wanted the players to be involved. And as we're starting to go into playoffs, we want to keep their focus there, but they're able to get out here, shoot with the kids. I hope that really inspires the kids because we know it's a long program that we want them to continue to come to so they divert away from negativity. The Raptors' next big community initiative is Actually, their game on March 30th. It will be their Raptors Pride Night. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.